I'm going to show you the coding to test for a prime number. So, coding to test whether a value that is entered, whether that value is a prime number, yes or no. Okay, prime number is a number that go, can only go into themselves, like 5 and can and one so only one and five can go into five not two three can't two can't four can't okay so only one and five can go into five that's why it's a prime number okay two yes it is three yes four no because one two and four can go into four so four is not a prime number okay so to test that i declared i now is integer b prime it's a boolean i is a byte uh, i said i prime is true then i took the value that the guy entered in the edit box and i put it into i num then i started the loop started i start with two because i don't want to test the value one and i said i num minus minus one because if i num is five i don't want to test five with himself so i said five minus one then i said if i num let's say the example is five five mod one is equal to zero but i is not one i is two that's why i started with two so it's not five so it's four i mean five mod two it, and it's not zero okay so it's not zero so it's not gonna go in three five more three is not zero 5 mod 4 is not 0, so B prime will remain true. Okay, so it will not change to false. Then I test if B prime is true, then display yes, else display no. But let's say the value was um, 4 that was entered into I num. So then, then I'm going to say 4 mod 2 is equals to 0, so that is true. And then I will change B prime to false. So 4 will not be a prime number because 4 mod 2 is equals to 0. So there's another value that can go into um, that specific number. So that's why it will change the B prime property to false. So when it comes over here, um, it will test B prime. So it's not true. It's false. And it, then it will display no.